Theater of Witness is a form that I started to work in about 20-something uh, years, almost 25 years ago in the United States, working with uh, people who haven't had a voice, uh, prisoners and their families, refugees, people who have been homeless, um, survivors and perpetrators of abuse, um, of war crimes, and um, have had the incredible good fortune to um, be invited here by Pauline Ross uh, almost two years ago to begin Theater of Witness here. And we've been working on, the first project was with fathers who had been on the front lines during the troubles, and we create, and three younger people from the next generation. And it was really about the impact of bringing people together from um, the RUC, the UDA, and um, the IRA, and then three young people whose fathers had also been on the front lines, and seeing what the intergenerational impact had been. And, um, what I'd like to do first is just to show a short clip of the um, film that we made of this called We Carried Your Secrets, and this is just a Victoria. What you'd be seeing is her starting in rehearsal when the first time that she was reading the lines that we wrote together, um, and she was having a reaction to that, and then you see her on stage, and then you actually see her off stage with her father who had come to the performance. And, um, Starting there, because in thinking about this work here, I think the title of this talk was supposed to be Local Perspective on, International Perspective on Local, I don't know, something like that. I don't know what it is, I don't know what I am. Um, I don't know where I live, if, if this is home, but I am an outsider to the work, and I guess I do want to say that I think being an outsider is both difficult and a huge blessing to this, because I think, because I come in not knowing anything being a Jewish Buddhist from America, I'm not really attached to a lot of the issues here. So I think that the listening is, uh, people can trust the listening more. Um, and I should just say a tiny bit about the process. Um, I interview lots and lots of people first, and then from the interviews, choose people to be in the cast, and then write the script from there, directly from their words, and there's a lot of uh, back and forth of them saying, yes, I want to change this, this is, this is right. And then they learn their own words. And then we weave it together with, uh, in these last two projects, with incredible music by Brian Irvine, and with video projections by John McElduff. That you won't see today. So we're just going to start a little bit with Victoria to show the impact of the intergenerational um, legacy, really. And then I'll come back. Steve, can you go back to the hoser like it might be the last time? Who are those bad men who want to hurt her daddy? How does that feel? Um, I know you're just reading it right now, but is that... Um, it feels almost good. When I was four, my daddy took a picture of me wearing his RUC uniform. When he'd come home, he'd go straight upstairs, take it off, and hang up his gun. My daddy always made me feel safe. Every time he'd leave the house, he'd hug me like it might be the last time. I was taught not to lie, but we weren't supposed to tell anyone that daddy was in the police. Some things are too dangerous to say. Checking under the car for bombs was a daily activity. At night, in the dark, I'd get scared. Who were these five men who wanted to hurt my daddy? I didn't necessarily know about that side of his life, that part of his life, and, and what it entailed. And so with, with Robin being still a serving officer, it allowed me to hear his perspective in a way I never had an opportunity to hear before. The day the bomb, my father was out on duty, stationed 10 miles away from our home in Oma. I was meant to go into town, a short distance away from our house, to buy some stationery. But I was still at home with my mother, sister and aunt, when the force of the blast shook the house. We kept waiting for Daddy as the death toll went from 8 to 13 to 20. The phone lines had been cut off and he had no way of reaching us. I've only recently found out that the 
Um, is happening. 